But in Agreg, there's something we call value chain. Value chain is where uh, the lifeline of a product, where it starts from and where it ends. And everyone can plug into any of these value chains. Mm-hmm. So I tell the youth that if you don't feel like going to touch soil, you don't necessarily have to touch soil. There are people doing training, like CSIR, for instance, is doing massive training. They do uh, trainings of 400, 500 people at a time you know 200 people at a time and then they let them get their own boxes and all the setup and then you can start on your own so you can also start uh, training you can get free training from us and use it as an opportunity to also learn more and impact knowledge on the people around you maybe you are not in Accra you're outside Accra you can start that by training youth so that they can start small small farms uh, at their uh, wherever they are you know so that's one value chain the training the second one is the setting up of the structures themselves so people need others to take care of it so we tell the youth that there's quite a lot of market out there there are people that have money to go into farming but do not have the time they are looking for very passionate people who want to stay on the farm to take care of them and their salary ranges from anywhere from 1500 to 2000 cities a month with full accommodation and other resources there electricity everything done on their farms but they don't have people taking care of them so that's another value chain that people can go into that you have trained yourself in snails you don't have the capital to start but you can take care of somebody's snails whilst you also earn uh, some income uh, to you as well and the other part is you can also process snails so processing snail is also a heavy industry where if you get even two restaurants Mm -hmm. that agree to take that that's a lot of jobs on your hand because people eat quite a lot but they take it off the menu because the uh, availability is not there today you come and they have snails tomorrow you go and they say oh we are out of snails and people get sad you know by that so if you are able to supply constantly to these avenues that's also another multi-million dollar project that you are looking at uh and the other portion is selling snail feed so you can also do feed like i told you the components of feed is out there Mm. but most people want to buy you know ready-made feed because they don't have the time or uh, they don't want to go through that stress so you can also do that and say oh i've now gone to fda to do correct packaging done everything and then now i'm producing feed that's about five value chains we've mentioned already five value chains and then you go again into the raising of the snail itself that's where you do the snails itself and then the production itself and sell and the snail shell is also a very good source of calcium where it is used for animal feed so someone also goes around picking snail shells from the market from the people that are raising and they use it for animal feed grinded calcium shells are very expensive as well that is another market you can tap into uh so the value chain is enormous like i said so there's quite a lot that people can do you don't necessarily have to touch soil you can also uh help other people market their uh snails by doing social media marketing on the side as well so 